and welcome to this video. I'm Scottman from How to Do, and today we will be learning how to make simple shooting system inside of the FPS controller that we made in the previous video. So if you haven't seen that yet, let's go ahead and click the link in the description box below and uh, see that first, and then then uh, jump back to this video. So in this video, you will be needing, of course, a gun. I'm using this gun right here, which you can. Um, which you can see here if you want the same one you can just go ahead and click the link in the description box below or you can uh, use your own it's all up to you and of course we need a bullet so I'm using this box kind of thing for the bullet and yeah you can use anything you want so let's just go ahead and drag our gun inside of the camera we can position it up, but a mine is positioned. I guess that looks good to me. Yeah. And let's just come to the side or the top view. Press S. And let's just create a empty and place it kind of at the muzzle. Okay. And we will call it. Uh, bullet uh, spawner so this will spawn all our bullets and our bullets will be spawned over here of course and yeah okay so let's just go to the pistol and add in FSL this is a component which you uh, which is available to you when you import playmaker so if you don't have playmaker just go ahead and click the link in the description box below download it for free import and then install it and then you will see uh, this uh, component over here edit and now what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and check whether the player is pressing the mouse button so let's just get uh, get mouse button down it means when the player presses the mouse button and the button we need is left of course and then we need to send an event we will send a new event called fire and let's just add the event fire new state and bam in here what we need to do is we need to just go ahead and create an object the object what we want to create is the bullet so let's just drag and drop the bullet over here and the spawn point is the bullet spawner of course and I guess that's that let's just wait for I don't know one second I guess and let's just go back to the idle or whatever this is so let's see what happens and you can see I can look around and when we fire this bullet kind of spawns over here great but you can see it does not move and does not do that thing uh, it's not moving it's stuck in there so let's just do that first so let's see um, let's drag and drop it over here go to local and see that we want it to move in this direction so it will be uh, so this is red so it means it's x, uh, x so we want it to move in minus minus x direction right go to the bullet translate into minus 10 And let's see. Mm. Yeah, it works. But now you will notice that when we come out of there, mm, there you go. You can see these bullets will never end, they will um, shoot forever, they will travel forever, or whatever. So we don't want to do that. So let's just go to the bullet and say ray cast and hit event. So we want new event. Check. 
so when this way it will be in the direction uh, minus one and this will be one okay the hit event will be checked so let's just add check and okay so so we actually want a target so let's just go ahead add a sphere reset let's transform bring it up add it a material and let's just call it target and let's just add a tag I have already added a tag as you can just go to add tag plus type in the name save it and go back and add the tag target alright so now this guy is target and it also have the tag called target so let's just go over here and we also need to store the hit object so let's just store it in new variable test obj test object and we want to compare the tag so compare um, game object compare tag game object compare tag and it will be the object which has hit and the tag will be target if it is the target then go to kill if it's not then go to destroy so if we hit the target then go and kill the target and if it does not hit the target then go ahead and destroy yourself so destroy and kill destroy uh, destroy and kill let's just remove these states destroy in the destroy we want to destroy ourselves to uh, destroy self simple as it sounds and in here we want to do um, destroy object and the object will be the hit object which we have hit and then we want to also destroy ourselves so let's see does that works or it gives an error okay as you can see oh that's that's great it works properly so it destroys itself and it also had destroyed the target let's just do uh, duplicate these and let's see does that work or not okay all right it works um, but as you can see this mouse over here it is disturbing us so let's just go ahead and hide this mouse hmm. let's just go ahead and add an empty called game ui in there we will add an fsm and we will say hide or oh sorry cursor cursor set mouse cursor and we want to set it to none so that we cannot see it and hide cursor and we will lock the cursor and that will do it for us so as you can see we cannot see the mouse over here and nothing is happening like that and yeah okay now you can press escape to exit that okay and but as you can see it's hard for us to you know target or to aim so there's no cursor kind of thing that shows us that oh i am doing it really good okay so that does not show us that where we will shoot it so we want to make that ui so to do that you need this kind of um, thing this picture i found this in uh, google so i guess the link will be in the description but you can also search for that
and let's just go ahead and set it to sprite to the UI and this to smaller number uh, I guess that will be good and apply that and now what we want to do is we want to just go ahead and create UI and what should we create we should image okay I'll press F to zoom out or do that thing and bring it to the center and drag and drop our our this this thing over here this cursor thing okay now we can just small resize it to make it small and here's a technical part kind of technical part it should be little over here I don't know what how to do that but I do it like this and it's not the proper way to do that but yeah but yeah it's working now you can see it works properly and that's that hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel if you want more tutorials or if you want anything you want to learn you can just go ahead and leave some comments below I will try to answer them and yeah I'll try to do that but don't forget to subscribe hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time